One of the more difficult requirements to address in ITF 16949 is clause 7.3.2, Employee Motivation and Empowerment, which focuses on creating the right work environment to promote innovation. Let's watch this video filmed at Jaguar Land Rover Engine Plant in the UK and see what we can learn from how this organization tries to address this requirement effectively within their quality management system. Um, we also have something called uh, Employee Learning Scheme within JLO. Uh, essentially, this is a fund that's given to all employees on yeah. a yearly basis, um, and it helps uh, employees to um, maybe do something outside of work to improve their aspirations that they might have. So this is non-work related? This is non-work related. Yeah. And have you done anything out of interest? I have, so recently I uh, did a tiling and electrics course. Wow. Uh, it's something that I wanted to do for a long time yeah. um, to help uh, do bits and bobs yeah. uh, within my own uh, home. Uh, yeah, brilliant. Uh, but you can also do team bonding uh, event, events as well with work colleagues, so, yeah. so it's great. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. Um, also, this is a great place uh, for communication. Yeah. Um, so within JLR, we have weekly and monthly uh, business updates that yeah. are provided to the business. Um, there's also a JLR app, um, yeah. so employees can get the latest updates uh, regarding the business through their mobile phones outside yeah. of work. Um, through the app, you can also access a range of JLR uh, employee discounts. Yeah. So. Uh, Obviously, vehicles being there, yeah, the main no, one. Yeah, nice perk. Um, that's right, yeah. yeah. But it's not necessarily uh, just JLR uh, discounts. Uh, there's discounts uh, from a wide range of uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, businesses yeah. as well. Yeah. And um, also the um, sort of employee health and well being. Absolutely. So um, we take great care in employee health and well being. Yeah. Um, there's great support on site. Um, you can go and talk to. Uh, yeah. people. Um, there's also the employee assistance program that yeah. we do with Aviva. Yeah. Uh, so there's great support and we actively encourage people to talk openly about yeah. their mental well-being. Yeah. Um, we have a saying here, better people means better business. Yeah. Um, so we encourage inclusivity of all people. Yeah. Um, so there's a, a lot of groups uh, yeah. within JLR. Uh, we've got a group for EMC Pride as well, yeah. um, and it's really about making sure that everyone's welcome yeah. uh, and everyone wants to come to work yeah. and feels happy yeah. to. So that's wonderful. Yeah. Thanks, Rav. Thank you. Now, what were some of the key observations from this video? Yeah, I think uh, you, you mentioned in the opening statement about the complexity of this clause 7.3.2 being a, a sort of tricky one to implement. But I think it's fair to say we saw several examples um, of the JLR approach to engaging their their employees. And, and that was kind of encapsulated in the in the sort of slogan better people equal a better business so really emphasizing the importance of the people which sometimes um, unfortunately does get overlooked in an organization and it really helps in this case to create an environment where people want to come to work and that was um, very clear from what we saw yeah no that was very evident and i really like that slogan Mm. Um, Devon, what were some of the examples that you saw related to employee engagement during the visit? Uh, yeah, there were two examples that really stood out to me. The first one was the giving the people the opportunity to learn uh, skills to apply not only inside but outside of work. And the second one was the employee bonding that they really pushed. So that the, those two examples really stood out to me. Yeah, and I guess many organizations may shy away from this because they would see it as an added cost. Now, what would you do to sort of counter that? Well, I think um, the way JLR approached this, they, they clearly see um, investing in their people as a as a, an integral part of making good products for their customers. So to have motivated employees will impact and, and result in in good products produced and satisfied customers and but yeah i understand that to support people doing extracurricular activities um they, that requires a uh, some additional thought but clearly it's it, it works we've seen that here yeah i think jaguar alone rover accept it's a cost but they also see tremendous benefit 
in terms of things like improved productivity and, and better quality levels. Devon, we saw a lot of focus on the mental well-being of the employees during this visit. Why do you think that's important within the context of IETF? Yeah, absolutely. There was a lot of focus. Uh, so in today's society, many people are suffering with some kind of uh, mental health issue, which can directly affect their attendance and their effectiveness at work. So having access to help and support in the workplace is something that will absolutely help them. Yeah, no, I totally agree with that. So let's summarize. So I think the key message from this video was better people lead to a better business. We saw many examples of initiatives in the video that JLR were taking to ensure they maintain a fully motivated workforce. The relevant ITF requirement 7.3.2 requires an organization to document a process on how it creates and maintains motivated employees, but with the real focus on continual improvement and engagement to promote innovation. This is a never-ending process.